Hey there guys, welcome back to Let's Play Artenal with the Melody of the Lamiards. And in this episode we're going to be diving into the Misha's level 7, or sorry, level 6 atmosphere. Just like with Orcas, it is not going to end well. And Liner is going to most likely be in a sticky, sticky situation. Actually, never mind, no. <laughs> we're going to go in. Kind of had to. They're going to complete all the girl levels, level, all levels of the atmosphere. Alright. Oh yeah, about that money trick, it looks like I won't be able to do it immediately. So I might have to wait till like in the middle of phase two to do it. But whatever, that's for the main plot of the game. We are here for for Misha. And just like with Orga's level six atmosphere, this music has more sensitivity compared to her level one through five atmosphere songs. And oh god, it's getting cold. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm not in the games. I can't feel. It's probably just you, Liner. And no, oh, what the, what in God's name is this? <laughs> yeah, I wonder what we will find. And unlike with Dolly on, Hama didn't come out and warn us about this world. Okay. Um. Ooh. What am I supposed to do? I'm assuming this is where we go for the art. I mean, for the um, event, so let's just explore these areas first at the constraint house. I do not like that. <laughs> not like that. And hey, there's Jack. What's up, Jack? The, the tire in the castle. What are you talking about? Um, did, did you just kick me out? Jerk. Alright, let's go to the internal street. Hopefully, someone else will be coming. We're kinder to and it is crochet and she does not look happy to see us. What tire are you guys talking about? And she ran away. What in the world's going on? I am not liking this already. And ooh, there's another event at the light tower. We'll probably meet Hama, who won't drive us off or run away from us. Are you becoming aware of the fear that comes in the layer of levels? Well, we just had to deal with Orca's crap, so yeah. Excuse me. And like I said, with, with the, uh, Orca's level 6, well, once you get past level 5 already to the cotton spheres, that's when they start to reveal the true natures. A side of them that you wouldn't think they had, but oh, they got it and they will show it to you. So yeah, then this is where a real test between Diver and Ravenel comes into play. Do you really have what it, what it takes to overcome all of the crap that happens in the Cosmos Sphere from this point onward, from level six onward? Usual partners become either become too afraid by his level or stay quit before that. All right, the dive shot did say something like that. Ah, oh, okay. So, so that's what he meant. Well, when he said that, what I said before. The partner in Ravenel herself and both need a lot of courage to go past level 4 and 5. Getting glimpses of Ravenel's true thoughts aren't always a positive influence on a relationship. Yeah, sometimes, I would imagine seeing something you don't want to see, I can probably ruin a relationship. Just like with real life. I mean, if you've been with somebody for a, like, if you if you just started going out with somebody for a good week or so, you may think it's all it's all sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> Thank you, Zaz, for saying that from Final Fantasy 13. But if you spend with them for like a year, you'll, you'll eventually start to see how they really are. And I'm I'm starting to dish out relationship advice. I shouldn't be doing that. Well, even though this might e emotionally scar liner, he's going to be with Misha regardless. Now, this actually sounds wrong to be taking Orc's path. <laughs> You're dull and thick skulled to know. Won't take offense to all that kind of stuff. <laughs> well, that's because you are being bashed on liner. I'm sorry. Oh? Uh, sure, Hama. You're acting Sundary. Uh, just like a certain Ravatil I know. Alright, let's go to the Sleepy Forest. 
There's nothing in the forest. Indeed. What, what are you talking about? There's trees and grass and light and trees. Liner? And the orca, apparently. What is she doing orca? here? Where are you? I passed out and woke up in the forest. I've been wandering around for days. For days? For days? Are you all right? Holy crap. I'm fine. I'm so glad you found me. Can you get us out of here? Sure. I'm sure. I mean, well, God knows. We can't get out of here. I can't let you do that. And oh, God is bored. Not this ass hat again. Ward, what are you doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here, Ward? You've been following me in all the cosmic spheres. Have you found a way to, to dive into other girls' girls' cosmic spheres? Liner Barset, I have business to take care of. I was told to capture you. Wait, what? What? Wait, did they hear this before at the early parts of the game? Liner, don't go! I don't want to be alone again! I'm sorry, little girl, but I have to take him away. Sorry, Liner. Nothing personal. Ooh. What did you do to me? He Liner, knocked us out. So, so just like with Orzo was here, we get knocked out not too far from from when we come in. Great, this can't end well. And oh, You're awake, my precious liner. And there's Misha <laughs> with a very sadistic, deep voice. Oh Lord, just like with Orca, this can't end well. Misha and Bored, what's going on here? I found you, liner. So. I had Bored bring you back here. That's right. Thanks, Bored. You can go now. Wait, hold on. Why is Bored working for Misha? Well, whatever. He's not important right now. Misha, why are you doing this? It is the girl and the um shirt. Don't tell me what to do. This is my world. Orca is lost in the woods. Yeah, exactly. We, we need to go save her. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Aren't you guys friends? I put her there. She'll probably wander around in there forever. And wait, what? She's so annoying. I had to punish her somehow. But what you're doing is wrong. Yeah, exactly. This is my world, and I can do whatever I want in here. But I am happy to see you. Well, what happened to your clothes? Where's your usual outfit? Yeah, exactly. My usual outfit? Oh, <laughs> I don't really like wearing it. It's so uncomfortable and too much work to put on. Well, I like seeing you in it. Just wearing this shirt is so much more comfortable. It's so casual. I well, I like seeing you in it. Will you come with me? Well, I like seeing... Wait, what? Well, I come with you. Well, that's a big... No. Oh. I... We can't do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, what's up with girls putting their boobs in my face? Not that I'm complaining, but we're not here for that right now. Why not? Do you like someone else? Is that it? Oh, God, she's getting mad. No, um, I'm saying it's for your own good. Yeah, exactly. For my own good? What the hell does that mean? Every time you say that, I never get my way. Oh, come on, Misha, that's not true. It's really just for your own good, not mine. That's not what I meant. I mean, right now in the real world, you're 12, so it's be kind of wrong if we did the do here. I'll tell you one last time. This is my world. If you want to survive, you have to listen to me. I want you to stay here with me forever. Again? Seriously? Borga was just saying this, too. No! Misha! You're a good boy, aren't you? But I don't really need you here anymore. Well, wait a minute, didn't you just say you want us here? What? Wait! Okay, that's a complete 360. Probably 180. It's so cold. Why did she send me to such a dreadful place? Liner. <laughs> You're here too? Hey, there's Bored. Wait, why are you here? Bored. How did you get that scar? Just 
Look out for the dragon. Hmm? What dragon? I thought you were the dragon. And ooh, he meant that What's dragon. Wrong with this place? Where did this dragon come from? Oh God! <laughs> oh, this can't be well. Screw boy, you can die for all I care. I'm getting the hell out of here. All right, guys, we need to freaking get out of this freaking freaking way. This dragon. Now, remember that was the same dragon Misha tried to summon back at her level one goddess here. But the dragon said he she was at least like what nine, ten levels lower, something like that. And let's go to the constraint house. Hopefully we can hide from the dragon inside the house. Even though he can blow it down, but it, it's better than nothing. Like I just said, <laughs> he can come inside the house. No, I, I wouldn't think he would be. He will blow the house down. Uh, all right, yeah, just stay in the house calmly while we. Oh, let's, let's actually go back in the house <laughs> where the dragon's at. Oh, and apparently the dragon's gone. And we see Jack again. Yeah, there's a, yeah, it's a, it's a dragon loose, dude. You probably don't want to be here. And, oh, you have confidence you won't be killed? Yeah, you're telling me. Yeah, and, yeah this isn't really the time to admire Jack. A little time. There's a freaking dragon looking for us. Do you think I have time? <laughs> what will the say? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um. Lions are men who will defeat the evil king and rescue me from that place. Yeah, sorry, we don't remember who Misha is, so we wouldn't remember that memory. So you want us to want Misha to free her. Oh, sorry if I'm speeding through attacks. I gotta remember to slow it down. Hmm. Oh, don't worry. Regardless of what kind of personas we'll see inside her cosmosphere, we'll accept Misha. Yeah, she is our friend now in this game because if we took her, we would be considered a boyfriend, a girlfriend. Kind of situation. Um, I guess the town street is where we need to go to advance the plot of the Cosmos Fair. Let's go to the Stonehenge and see if we can get away from the dragon there. Then he ins incinerated all the monuments. How could you? <laughs> of course, you can get away here. It's out in the open. Uh, let's go to the forest. Unless he burns the forest down, <laughs> which he just did. Yeah, I was chasing him. Why is he doing the exact opposite of what you would think he did? First, he goes inside the house rather than burn the house, and then he goes inside the forest rather than burn the forest. <laughs> oh, dragon! So I have a feeling I know what kind of persona this is, my Misha. It should be something similar to Orica. She wants us. I mean, she wants to be with us, but her, but her, her, her way of seeing it is kind of warped. Like she wants us to be, and oh, it is. It just freaking got us with its claws. And it's poisonous. Homemade dragon. Uh -oh. And we're losing consciousness. Oh god. We almost died in Orga's atmosphere. We don't want to die here. I'm making references to Orga's atmosphere a lot, am I? 
I shouldn't be saying that. Well, if you keep attacking me, of course you're going to kill me. Even though you're saying you don't want to kill me. It represents her love for me. Well, that's some kind of love. Betrayed you? Wait, when did we betray you? We didn't do anything to betray you. How? What? What are you talking about? What? Well, no kidding. It's poison. What do you think is going to happen? Oh god, we're going to die in the Goblin Sphere. Well, we'll see like this let's play is going to end short. Hmm? And, whoa, what in the world? And we're passing out just when things are about to get good. Okay, I have no idea what just happened. We passed out, we saw an another Misha. And hey, that's the Misha we saw right before we passed out. Shit, no with Misha. Oh yeah, that's right. I completely forgot about it. Yeah, she was the one in the organ I mean Misha's level what? Three? Four. It was one when she was the magical song fairy, whatever. Yeah, that's a good question. You were kind of like an enemy back then, but you saved us. So, are you an enemy or a friend? And she's neither. She's a protector of Misha's carefree spirit. So she really doesn't have a side. She's just there for Misha. Right. Excuse me. Okay, so yeah, so like I was saying, her feelings are distorted. She loves us, but at the same time, it's not showing the right way. Okay, so we gotta defeat the dragon to free all anxiety in this world, I guess. Sounds simple. Me? I was trying to run, run away from the damn dragon. Why would you ask me? Hey, there's Hama. Yeah, if it wasn't for Shinobi Misha, we would be dead by now. Right. <laughs> That's it, I get it. This is too confusing. Yeah, I, I, in all honesty, it was really confusing when I first got into the series. It was like, wait, what? Wait, what? This, that happened? Wait, what? 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 No. Oh, no, but um, later on in the game, it, it may seem more complicated, but if you like reread read into it, it does get a little bit more easier to understand. Honestly, this is like my what? My third time playing the game? And some parts of this game, it still kind of confuses me to I like see it again. There may have been times. I saw something, I was like, oh, that's right, yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be like that towards Arsenal level 2 and 3. Well, thank you, Hama. Thank you. Okay, um, let's go to the mountain and confront this freaking dragon. Wait, is there a right here? No, okay. I just want to try to finish these two episodes first. I might try to do an episode of the main story of this. I don't know. Depends on how I feel. And well, you know, he has found us. Alright, dragon. It's time for you to die. 
Your wishes will come true in the Cavern Sphere. All right. And <laughs> the dragon talks apparently. I was ordered to kill you by my master. Daughter. And I don't know. I'm trying to speak in action there. Even though she dumped you, she still calls her master beast. But he's so wait what? Oh really? What? I was dumped. What are you talking about? And I don't know. <laughs> Being like that. <laughs> Okay, so this this dragon is a product of all of the rejected feelings that Misha had. Huh, that's interesting. Then there's Wind Guard. Okay, cool. So I guess after this, we'll get Wind Guard. So how many guards does that make? Water Guard, Th Thunder Guard, and Wind Guard. I'm trying to think if we get a fire guard later. I don't remember. Well, thank you, Shinobi Misha. And just stab him through the heart. And you slice, slice his head off with your kunai. If you have a kunai. Okay, cool. Alright, she should be at the Moon Mansion where we were when we were all chained up. Oh, we get two song. Oh, that's right. What, what am I talking about? Yeah, we get two song magic. We get the Wind Guard and the Water God, which is the equivalent of Orica's Dragon Inferno. So each got two in the same in the same event. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm, I'm actually got, I actually got a lot of DP. Uh, I remember when I first played this game, I had no DP left at this point. <laughs> You're alive. Yes, we are, and live and kicking. You, why are you still here? Shouldn't you be in your own world? Hold on, I need more green tea. I'm trying to bring Liner to my world. He doesn't have time to fool around here. Ah, so good, yet so refreshing. Fool around? But Liner's not leaving here at all. He'll stay here with me forever. Or he'll just die. Choose one, Misha. Oh, Seriously. I'm sorry. We already killed your dragon. So give him up already. Exactly. So I got any more. Oh, she is crying. No. someone else if you go to another world you'll start to hate me no of course you won't so I have to lock you up right here if that doesn't work I'll have to kill you you know that makes zero sense I can't stand the thought of you with someone else you're all mine oh come on Risha I'm sorry but I don't belong to you or anyone else Exactly, we're our own person. I don't want to leave you, but I won't be held captive either. I'm sorry, but you can't control me. If you don't like it, go ahead and kill me. Exactly. I mean, this whole time you've been wanting your dragon to kill us, but now that he's gone, you gotta do it. I can't do that. And wait, what? You killed all those people, but you can't kill me. But I didn't kill anyone. Not a single one. No. Yes. There was nothing I could have done. The dragon was so violent, so many suffered. Really now. But the dragon's gone now. If you really want to kill me, you'll have to do it yourself. Well. No, Liner. You can't die. But I can't live under your conditions. Then I want you to disappear, but not be dead. Again, that makes no sense. I like you. You so much. I need you to stay with me. I'll go crazy without you. Oh, you know you pretty much gotten to that point right now. If you're gonna be with someone else, I want you to vanish. <laughs> not be dead. 
would not be that. Yeah, that 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 doesn't sound. That isn't a contradiction or anything. No. Oh, Misha. And oh crap, what is happening? This is getting dangerous. The Misha of this world is crumbling. Liner! Uh, don't go! Stay here! Don't care about anything else but me! Oh, come on, Misha. Don't be like this. I can't do that. It's kind of hard scene like this now. This isn't the Misha that we thought we'd see. Then I don't want you she sounds so desperate. <sighs> There's no more dragon to kill him accidentally. Well, I can't kill him myself. Otherwise, I'll no longer be a drama queen. So, so wait, you wanted to be a drama queen so Lana can pay attention to you? But I have to be a drama queen, or else Liner won't care about me anymore. Misha! Come on, Misha. No. Oh crap, this place is going to freaking go now. I gotta get the hell out of here. A paradox loop. Um, you're. Oh, whatever you say, Shonen no Misha. And my niece is coughing. Probably good time to end the part. Thank God it's happened at the end of the paradigm shift. Or, comes here. Yeah, exactly. We didn't really solve anything. I think we just made it worse. You'll have to save her by taking her through it. Oh, it might be a little scary, but you should be okay. I completely oh. to disagree. <laughs> oh, <laughs> seriously? Seriously? All right. Um, that's all. Yeah, that's all. I have a bad feeling about this. We didn't really do anything. All right, whatever. Minor. Why is a paradigm shift happening now? I thought that only happened when Misha matures emotionally. Yeah, exactly. That's right. And the Not Misha bipolar. of this world is definitely growing. <clears throat> How? You don't have to be happy to mature. Well, that makes sense, I this guess. This time, it was escaping the paradox loop that allowed her to grow. Anyway, the shift is occurring. But where's Misha? Yeah, where is Misha? And, oh. She's just an empty shell. Liner, will you take Misha through? Um, that's kind of hard to try to look at. Uh, all right. Liner? Yes? Deep in her heart, she's afraid of losing you. That's how much you mean to her. We're deep within her heart, so her fears, doubts, and emotions are amplified. But they're still all true. Remember that. I will. Right. You know, the last time I saw you, I just thought you were evil, but I was wrong. No, she's not either good or bad. You're she's really it. nice, and you were so helpful. I'm not really good or bad. Yeah, I'm exactly. Just here to protect Misha's carefree spirit. Yeah, you said that before. Yeah, well, you saved me. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so it wasn't for you. We'd be dead by now. So I will show you gratitude. And wow, that cousin here took a little longer than the orca. I guess we finished Misha's level 6 Cosmos here. And we have a costume that she can't equip yet. Yay. Anyway, we have the Y costume as in why do we have to go through all that? <laughs> uh, well, 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 whatever. Alright guys. And we are finished it. Yay. So, I will end the episode here. But next time, let's be our channel. Let me know. We are going to be diving to Misha's level 7. Yeah, for I me, mean, I had to... I think about what that was, because I just saw the number. Little seven comes here. So I'll see you guys next time.